Hello there. I'm making this video today to show you some easy tips for making these gorgeous, gorgeous pinwheel cards. They just, they fold flat for easy postage and have the lovely little spinning around design for you. So this one I've created and it fits in a standard envelope. I'll get you an envelope to show you. It's into a standard envelope like that, exactly the right size. And I have featured the beautiful Penguin Playmates celebration paper, and the stars are shining brightly stamp set. So this is this stamp set, the stars are shining brightly, just because I wanted to use it actually. I really love this. And using this great stamp here, the star star stamp i'm just going to put it on my because when you load it like that on your block it fits much better when you're punching it out so it fits exactly like that and then you don't have to go searching for which way to hold your paper when you're punching out the stars and then i also want the stars are shining brightly for my project there we go, so my two stamps are ready. Now because I'm using the gorgeous Penguin Playmates paper, that's the, been the starting point of, of where my colours have come from. So there's misty moonlight on all of the pages and also some just jade on all of the pages. So I've already pre-cut these pieces out, they're four different pieces of the Penguin Playmates paper. That's my piece for stamping my my stars for punching and sticking and there's the other ones for stamping. Here's the Just Jade for to create the card. Now you use one piece of cardstock to create the card and let me show you how I've done that. So I have I know that the width of the card is 21 centimeters and half of that is 10 and a half. So we need, I'm making it at squares. So I'm cutting my piece here at 10 and a half centimeters and then another piece at 10 and a half centimeters and then cut these two in half at 10 and a half and 10 and a half. Okay, so there's my basic building blocks to create my card. Each of these pieces needs to be scored. I'm going to score each of them at seven and a half centimeters. So at the seven and a half centimeter line, seven and a half, seven and a half. Now, if you're an inches person, that's approximately three inches, and ten and a half is approximately four and that's not a quarter four and two eighths inches i think i'm not familiar with inches which is why i work in centimeters there we go and seven and a half now i no longer need my trimmer okay now these cards look a bit tricky to put together but this is a super easy way to put it. I'm just going to fold on all of my score lines here. So what I'm going to do is put my adhesive. So if I start this way, maybe. So I've got one ready to go, right? Folded there. Here's my second piece, exactly the same. I'm going to put my adhesive on this small folded tab here and line it up exactly on the fold of the one before. Same with this one. Two bits of seal there. Line it up exactly on the score line. I know it's a bit hard for you to see but there's a score line there that I'm lining it up on. And finally lining it up on my score line there. So basically sort of 
hope you can see that one two three four pieces and then when you fold them all it just automatically folds around to make the pinwheel and so this is the last one and because this folds flat this card I'm just going to fold it flat and put my adhesive on there and then fold it flat again like that to glue it down okay there you go there's your basic pinwheel card done and the rest depending on which way you put your embellishments your card can be either this way or this way and there is no wrong way it just depends on which way you put your card your, your paper or your embellishments onto your card so I'll just start by putting my now all of these pieces are half a centimeter smaller so remember the main card was ten and a half by ten and a half so, and scored at seven and a half so this piece is ten by seven and then next there's another one with the cute little penguins next fold it over when I was originally designing this card I just was having a great time with this paper and just loving it silly and I'd stuck all my pieces on really enjoying my card and then I thought, oh my goodness, where are we going to write to the recipient on the card? So these panels here are for your writing and greeting. So I'm just going to put a couple of stars on them. There we go, there's almost, and while I'm stamping those stars, I'll just stamp one more. Now I'm going to look at my punch, right, stamp it this way, so that when I punch my stars, it lines up exactly and I'll be able to slide it in that way. So just pop that one aside, clean my stamp, and then the stars are shining brightly. That on here, line that up. Close it. And then again, same deal as before, stick on all of your panels around your card, just make sure they're all lined up. Same. Okay, another. You see one I didn't stamp properly. I'm not too worried about that because I'm going to punch out some stars and I can cover that one up there. There we go. That one there. Oh yeah, now with my lined up piece of cardstock and my punch. And it doesn't punch those two, but that's okay. I only need this many. One, two, three, four, five, and itty bitty one there. And I'll also punch out some of the rose gold metallic paper for a bit more fun. One of those stars just went flying onto the floor, I think. Uh, oh, there it is. Found it. Okay, on the back of all of these, pop some mini dimensionals. I think I've just 
just about used up all my dimensionals on that sheet and of course can't see any more in my stash hang on let's have a look see what we've got here here we go this one one for you and then those little tiny ones there I'm just going to use a mini glue dot one or you can use liquid glue as well if you like okay I think that'll do rightio where did we say I needed to cover one up my little mistake let's put one of the big ones on there now it's just a matter of decorating oh obviously it didn't peel the back off that then my card with some pretty stars everywhere. There we go. There's a little bit to write, a little bit of oh look, you can see I need to put a star just there where I've smudged a bit of ink. There we go, magically fixed. Might leave that one a little bit blank so there's some more room for the people to write on the card. And one more little one. There we go. There is your pinwheel card, folding flat, ready to fit in your standard envelope. And wasn't that easy when you know how. Bye-bye now.